Hey guys, what is going on? Molly here, and we are joined today by a special guest. Introduce yourself. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Indy the One Three here with Hidden Xperia, and we're talk about to talk about something special today. So I'll let you do that. Okay, sure. Uh, well, as you've seen in the news recently, there's been a massive case of zombies in America. That sorts fucking everyone over. And we've been thinking, <laughs> what would you do in a zombie apocalypse, and how would you survive it? So, Indio, do you want to go first? Oh, of course. Well, um, I may not have, like, the most lethal weapon, but inside my room I got a Louisville Slugger baseball bat, and I, and I swing pretty hard, and nice. I think I'd be, yeah, I think I'd be able to take a head off. If I get downstairs, I got a couple of kitchen knives, maybe I could use them as throwing knives. Yeah, you know, uh, slit in the throat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. ninja style on them. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, definitely. You gotta take out the brain too. Um, pretty sure I got like a machete that's used to cut tree branches, but it's pretty sharp. Um, got some fun yeah. with that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, man. I got the sharp weapons. Um, like I live around like a police headquarters, so I could I could actually make my way over. That's maybe I get like. Placement. Yeah, definitely. I'd be able to get like um, maybe two handguns. Uh, I'd have like M9 akimbos or Glock. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have tons Double. of ammo as well, you'd be set for Definitely, that. I'd go all mono for two. What would you do? <laughs> what okay. would you do? Um, well, weapon-wise, in my room, I've got a paintball gun which looks identical to an assault rifle. Yeah. So you can scare people off with that and kill zombies with it because the bullets go through, like, they're meant to go through the eyes and set in the back of the brain. I've got the most powerful handheld laser in the world, so it, which blinds people in a quarter of a second so I can melt their eyes. <laughs> God, this is making me sound like some uber, uber, uber bad redneck. No, <laughs> you're a fucking badass in my opinion. <laughs> Cheers. Under my bed, I've got a baseball bat with two knives sellotaped taped to it. Well, I'll say sellotaped, taped, duct taped to it. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a few pen knives. Uh, I've got a really, really, really fast fan. <laughs> I could take the cage off and <laughs> just go ham on the neck with it. Um, <laughs> got quite a few wires to strangle them with. Uh, God. Got quite a few, got quite a lot of stuff actually. You yeah. seem pretty more prepared than I am, honestly, man. Dude, I've been set for years. <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, like a laser itself. You gotta tell me more about that. Okay, well, um, like most lasers, handheld lasers are around five milliwatt to like fifty milliwatt. Uh, yeah. And this is one thousand one hundred seventy-five. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> it's like a freaking Star Wars uh, lightsaber. Oh, um, yeah. The annoying thing about it though, in daylight, if I'm using it in daylight, the beam is really visible. So, yeah. if zombies actually did have good eyesight, then I think they might see me. Oh, but, that, yeah, so. you'd be melting their brain if like... Yeah, yeah, I'd be could. melting the brain, so it's good. De definitely, and you could use that as a survival technique. Cook some beans or something. <laughs> <laughs> Preheat some beans on a pan with a laser. No, nah, that's true, you could actually do that. You gotta use your survival tactics. Now, like what about people? If beams. you were to have like a couple of people, who would you have? Oh, I've got this set already. Me, Indio, JFK, uh, Master Chief of Halo because he's the biggest boss from anyone ever. <laughs> Anything ever, 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 ever. And of course, FPS Russia. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is chosen. Who would you uh, have? As for me, I would have myself, I would have you, I would definitely have JFK because he's cool. I would ha <laughs> definitely have to have FPS Russia because he's the one, that, he's the weapon master. He knows a lot. And I guess some, um, I don't really have a uh, slot for the fifth person. I really don't know. So I just I keep it uh to the four you the four of us I guess. Okay sure. Okay for the last one for the fifth guy how about if you had to choose someone from the Avengers, one superhero. Wait if I have to choose from the Avengers yeah. probably Captain America. Yeah. He's Captain better. Or or Iron Man. Oh Iron Man yeah yeah. Couldn't get they can't they can't really eat into Iron Man because I mean nah. he's like <laughs> he's metal. <laughs> Okay, Metal. So, iron. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to hold up one place, where would it be? Uh, if def uh, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, not my house because I'd just be able to hit through the windows. Um, probably go through my Taekwondo school or whatever. No, nah, not even. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess I have to go like find somewhere underground because you know if you hold down an underground area, they can't really get you from there. Yeah, unless they have superhuman strength and can dig. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. not likely. Nah, it's not likely. Uh, for me, probably my attic actually, my bit, my um, my loft because th to get into it, there's only one ladder, and this to get this ladder down and actually be able to get into it, you have to pull down a part of the roof, which you can only do with a pole. And I'm taking from like the info from every single zombie film ever that zombies <laughs> can't hold poles and pull doors open from the roof. 
<laughs> so there'd be no way for them to get in. We could like cut a hole in the roof or something to have a window, but then again, you need like no a way. sniper. Yeah, oh, dude, that'd be sick. Sit yeah. in the window because we've got a really long street and we're at the top of it, so we could just aim perfectly down. Oh crap! Oh, <laughs> you see, as for it. me, like I would have to just like run and gun because you know I'm around suburbs and everything. But I still, uh, you know, I learned from uh, Zombie Land itself that uh, like you need the extreme conditioning. <laughs> <You> need... <laughs> I got two. good conditioning too because I mean in Taekwondo when you run around a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely got the conditioning to run. I just gotta be light, I guess. But <laughs> you mean... could ju you could just stay in a corner and just. Dude, I go not to the gym. Every... Corner, I, but... I go to the gym every day. I can just destroy them. I'm fine. <laughs> But yeah, no, you're I... fucking massive. <laughs> Why, thank you. But no, if I, <laughs> if I was in my um, in my attic, I think I would be set because there'd be no way for them to be able to get up. They'd just be, like, sat below me. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Looking up. And I... that'd be pretty funny, actually. Just yeah. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I'm next to um, a diner and, uh, and a gas station, too. Oh, that's helpful. That's really yeah. helpful. I'm not too... Oh, actually, down my street, there's a, um, there's a little shop that sells food. But there's yeah, gotta I'm get, close gotta to get shops and houses. So closest place to get food for me would probably be to be yeah, probably go into town. Because there's a Sainsbury's like not far from me. But I have to go through like the heart of where I live, which isn't gonna be a good idea. There's gonna be <laughs> cherry zombies everywhere. <laughs> cherry zombies. <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't you have like a little storage of food or something? Like, you know, that'll last you for about like a month um, maybe? Well we've got we've always got a lot of food in our household. So, we're not really going to run short on food, but if we did, then we would probably be able to go to the shop at the bottom of the road. Because I'm not going to lie, not many of the people on my street would survive. They're all old or families and wouldn't know what to do. They'd just be like, oh no, they're zombies, let's just, let's just punch them away and hope they get better. Oh, that's Walk messed off. up though, man. <laughs> there's, only old, there's only old people on your block. Seriously? Um, most of them. There's uh, like a few people my age, like one of my best friends, he lives next door to me. So, we could just like drill a hole in the roof yeah and, just and um thing. be able to go to his house and then he'll kind of yeah. be able to go to yours basically yeah pretty oh, that's, much. so that's would be, cool that's would be cool. set so for medical like treatments and shit like that have you got any places near you like any hospitals or anything oh crap i'm screwed i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> but out my bedroom window you can just see in the distance the hospital actually no, you can see it quite well uh it's a freaking massive hospital but <laughs> it's gonna be full of infected because that's where all the chubby zombies will go all the chavs that have been bitten they'll just run there screaming Actually yeah that, nice that's why i don't think that would have been a good idea anyways because i mean like a hospital is going to be in full of infected people it's probably going to be quarantined um yeah. doctors or nurses going to get infected it's it's crazy man and you're gonna have a bad time but no oh, shit's definitely. gonna go bad shit's gonna go bad <laughs> if there was actually a zombie apocalypse i reckon the whole world would just go into complete meltdown yeah, that that is true. That is true because I mean everybody's just gonna be like, ah, <laughs> gonna run. They're just gonna run away. The government's um, like, leavers. Yeah, the, uh, you're gonna have people that's gonna like be flipping out and stuff. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, wait till JFK hears this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to send this to him. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it would have been nice if we do a triple commentary, but it's cool. Oh yeah. Oh well. There's another time for that. <laughs> yes. So is there anything else you wanna say? Well, uh. Uh, all I know is that, um, you know, survive, don't get bitten, and uh, run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> run, hide, don't get bitten, survive. And don't take bath salts. Never oh, yeah, definitely. Salts. Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. <laughs> Stay in school, don't do drugs. I mean, really, but that's, bath salts really fucked up that guy in Miami. I mean, like, he was fucking naked, man. Oh, no, he was, just, oh, it's... He was fucking he naked eating out a guy's face. Like, that's fucking oh. cannibalism right there wrong i don't know why he'd want to take it in the first place but and even after all these cases have happened like there have been cases of more people since then. yeah there's more i heard about this thing in maryland where um a student was eating like some old guy's brain or something like that i heard oh, about yeah. this yeah did you hear about the um the boxer i think it was or the ufc fighter um that went back to his trainee's apartment and i think he like beat him up and then ate his, he ate his skull no he ate his brain heart and something else. A UFC fighter? Yeah, it was an amateur though. It wasn't a proper UFC fighter. Oh, because I never heard of something like that. That's crazy, man. It's really weird. There's two more cases as well, actually. There's a case of this guy uh, going back to his house and seeing his brother's, like, I think it was his brother's hand, hands and head, uh, oh. like, scattered around the kitchen, blood everywhere. And he rang the police, and it turns out that it was him that did it. 
Wow. So it's a massive psychiatric mindfuck type. Definitely. Well, the part that really gets me sad, though, is that there's, if there's actually really a zombie invasion, I don't know if we're going to ever talk again or whatever, or even meet up or whatever. The internet will prevail. Oh, hell yeah. Always. Fucking Skype. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put the link to this, like, this, um, what's it called? This article in the description down below with all these zombie attacks. Yeah. Those articles are pretty scary stuff, but, uh, yeah. Pretty fucked up. But, yeah, uh, nothing else you want to talk about? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's good then. Yeah. So, no, nah, I'm good. So, right. if you want to go check out India's channel, the link will be in the description. And Subscribe to her moldy. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Subscribers for days. Okay then, so thanks for watching. We will see you, you guys later. Peace. Peace.